Welcome to Code and Cappuccino. In this video, we are going to learn about use memo, use callback, and react dot memo. These are very useful for the uh, performance of your application. Uh, we will be following the same format as we follow in other videos. We will be starting with the example and. Uh, First, uh, I will tell you if we are not using it, then how it impacts the application. So let's get started. Building like a basic parent child component in React, and we will not use uh, use callback, use memo, and react.memo and see how things work. So let's get started. Uh, I have a basic React structure here uh, in this uh, here. Uh, I'll add a child component. So let's create. Uh, let's create a folder component, and inside that we are adding child dot chairs. We will just create a basic component here, which will return the JSX. And we will add a console log dot to check when the child component is actually re-rendering. So I'm adding a console here, re-rendering child. Okay, let's export it. and import here so if i refresh it it has a basic uh, child uh, div uh, let let me just remove the css we don't need it right now okay so now in the parent component uh, app.js is our parent component and inside that we are rendering child uh, let's add a button of increment so we are creating like a feature in which when we click a button uh, the count will increment and it will render in the parent component so increment uh, for the increment part uh, we need a state so count set count And on click of this button, we will increment it. Increment count. So uh, here we are creating a function for increment count. which will just increment the count of it so count plus one here we have to display the count so let's say i'm clicking on this so it's just incrementing count it's the basic functionality we have added let's add a log uh, so that we can know when is the parent rendering and when is the child rendering uh, I'll open the console, remove this and refresh it. Uh, it's rendering two times because of the strict mode. Uh, like in strict mode, when we uh, console anything, it renders two times. I hope you know this. I'll just remove this for now uh, for simplicity. Now when I reload it, uh, it's rendering parent and it's rendering child. Okay. So now what we need to understand is when i when i'm clicking on this increment button then parent and child both are re-rendering right like uh, am i passing any props in child right now i'm not passing right it's just a simple component which renders a normal jsx 
uh, it's not even using count inside it, right? If it's using count, then it makes sense that chi a child should re-render if a parent has the state. But the problem is here, um, I'm, I will remove this and I'm clicking on it. It changes to one. It means parent re-render. This is expected. But rendering child, why is it rendering child? We don't, uh, we are not using it inside that. So this is what we need to improve. So uh, I hope you understood what the issue is. Now, like child is not using anything, right? And uh, it's still re-rendering. This is what we need to fix. So we want something like... Uh, we need to save child in something and um, and it should internally check like uh, is the child has same jsx and is the props of child changing so if the props are not changing and uh, it, it will always return that same jsx then there is no need to re-render it again right so right now, in our case, we don't have any props. So obviously, it should not re-render. So this is where uh, react.mamu comes in picture. If, so if we add react.mamu, let me import it. So as now uh, we have added react.mamo, so react.mamo what it does internally is it checks uh, uh, props if they are changing and if they are changing it will re-render child. Right now we don't have any props so of course uh, for the first time uh, let me remove this and refresh it. For the first time, um, okay let's, uh, let's add a console for rendering parent as well. Okay, let's remove it, refresh it. So for the first time, it's rendering parent, it's rendering child, which is expected. Now, if I click on increment, it so now what we are expecting, it should increment the count. Um, as we are incrementing count, the set count state will change. As the state will change, the parent component will re-render the parent component will re-render but child it is not ex expecting any props like uh, the count state so uh, our expectation is that child should not re-render uh, let me remove this and increment it so rendering parent so it's not actually printing rendering child it means uh, it's kind of memoized now with the help of react.mem so I hope you understood what uh, what react.memo is for. Now let's understand the example of use memo and use callback. If you are into React, you should definitely check out React Nexus 2025. It's happening from July 3rd to July 5th. You'll hear from some of the best minds into the React world. And honestly, one of the best part which I like is the people like you'll you'll get to connect with a lot of people who are actually obsessed with React chairs. So uh, tickets are up in this reactnexus.com. I think you can see on my screen as well. Uh, so yeah, I, I have dropped the link in the description. You can go grab yours before they sell out what's cool is on the last day you'll be having like a lot of workshops in which you'll be actually coding actually doing it by yourself i'm going as well in this uh, in this conference as in software engineering uh, networking is the key i would say so yeah hope you understood about react.memo now let's actually add some props into this child component and see how it works let's say um, we are passing some data into it so um, items let's say react script React native. Okay, so we have an array and we are passing this array into the child component as props. 
and we are receiving it here and let's say we are just printing it okay so um, now let me refresh it and let's see the console log so initially uh, it says rendering parent rendering child okay now uh, let's say i'm clicking on the parent uh, on the button so uh, previously we used react.mamo and we were not passing any uh, props and it was just rendering the parent if you remember now when i am clicking on the button like you have to understand what's exactly happening when i'm clicking on the button the state is updating like we are when i'm clicking on the button this function is getting called increment count uh, which is uh, setting the count of it okay so it means state update is happening whenever state update is happening the parent component is re-rendering okay now parent component is re-rendering but in the child what props are we passing that we have to see so we are passing items so what's happening is why when we are clicking on this parent is re-rendering and why uh, why it's re-rendering child because items like this item is created again and again when the parent component is re-rendering like it's reinitializing again and creating again and again so how can we how can we like memoize it we can just store it right these are like uh, static values so it's not changing on some uh, on some state based on some state so to memoize this we are gonna use use memo so uh, use memo is like I'll, I'm writing items again so you can see the syntax properly so use memo it takes like a function like this and the dependencies okay uh, so here we can just write this. okay now if I so we can just write like this let's see now uh, now if i'm refreshing screen initially a uh, rendering parent rendering child this is expected now if now what we are expecting we have optimized this uh, items by adding used memo so let's say when i click on increment the state will change it mean it means the parent will re-render okay but what we want is if parent re-renders i don't want that item should be created again and the child prop should be updated again it means uh, now when i click on this the child should not re-render only the parent should re-render so yeah this is what it's happening now it's not creating the items again and again and yes this was about use memo now let's see another example for use callback okay so now let's understand how use callback works so in this uh, in the previous code uh, we have added some uh, buttons uh, let me go through that code first so we have added two buttons okay so the first button is for click like if we click on it uh, it will just uh, set the clicks like we have added one state and it will change the state okay why we are doing this like just to re-render the parent so we can understand uh, how the uh, function works so it is just re-rendering the parent you can assume that uh, and uh, call uh, callback uh, this is a button which will uh, which will actually like when we click on it it calls this function okay so it should print this button clicked also we are adding a use effect just to check like when the function reference is changed like when the function is recreated and then it will log this 
because on click every time this will uh, this will print only right even if we memoize this so let's see now what is happening i'll refresh my screen and let's see the logs parent is rendering child is rendering and also um, log click function reference change it means the function is newly created okay so this is expected i'll remove the logs and now let's click on this click on this click it's just like uh, parent is re-rendering and this uh, this set clicks is getting changed so on this click parent is re-rendering and log clicks function reference changed okay it means the function is getting recreated but why like when we click on this it's just changing the state then why it's the function is getting recreated again like this click is not using anything of anything of log click function right so it should not uh, create the function again even if the parent is recreating okay uh, i'll also click on this and show you uh, it's just printing button clicked as button is getting clicked on this now let's uh, this is the function so on functions we can just add use callback to memoizes so use callback and it can take dependencies on what dependencies do you want to re-trigger it so just like use effect has dependencies right uh, it also has dependencies so now let's see if we refresh it on the first go parent is re-rendering child is re-rendering and function is getting uh, created so this is fine now when we click on the this button parent is re-rendering but function is not creating again so this is what use callback is doing uh, also when i click on this it's just uh, printing the log of this button so this is the important part right we have uh, in parent component we have a different button with, which which has nothing to do with a particular function but that function is a uh, but that button is actually changing some state and re-rendering the parent but again uh, that button has nothing to do with that particular function and that function is also not using uh, this that state right so why should we recreate that reference again this is where uh, use callback comes into picture it just kind of saves it inside the memory and uh, it we are clicking on it and it's not actually uh, creating the uh, reference again this is the reason we added this use effect to check if it's creating the reference again or not uh, when we were not using use callback and clicking on this this log was getting uh, printed again and again right so yeah this is it this was all about use callback so i hope you understood the video about use if you uh, use memo use callback and react.memo if you have any questions you can comment down also don't forget to check out uh, react nexus 2025 which is in bangalore the link is in the description uh, below uh, so yeah uh, see you in the next video do subscribe to the channel